I've been formally called out and it's time that I respond. The other day I made this nice little short about how cranberries were nerfed back in the 1.1 update and now most top players actually say that pumpkins are the best fall crop. I thought it was a cute little short, posted it and thought nothing of it. Well imagine my surprise when I scroll down my shorts feed and see this. You may have been subject to a misinformation campaign. Mr. Shawnee Dew has been wrongfully saying that pumpkins are better than cranberries. This is simply not true. I was honestly in shock. I thought that me and Sal were friends. And then he made this whole video ripping into me. And Sal came straight for me. It didn't matter to him that by his calculations, you need to have four times as many preserve jars to make similar profits, which is completely unobtainable and way more expensive in year one. It didn't matter to him that his plan would require you to use far more energy watering crops, wasting more of your precious, precious time. It didn't even matter to him that nearly all top Stardew Valley speedrunners and min-max players use pumpkins, including the 100 million G in just one year run. Obviously, Salmens knew this already, because it's so obvious and publicly available. So he doesn't actually believe that cranberries are better. He did it all just to hurt me. So I decided it was time that we settle this once and for all. We'd compete in three challenges where we could only use our own crop to prove once and for all which is the better crop and who is the better man. So we're gonna go head to head in three different competitions, pumpkins versus cranberries. First one is going to be cooking the most recipes with our respective crop. Uh, so we'll have to get all the resources required for all of these recipes in 30 minutes and whoever can do more will be the winner. Secondly, we will be befriending people with our crop. You have 30 minutes to get as many social hearts as you possibly can and whoever gets more, they will be crowned the winner. And then finally, we will both be creating sheds themed around our respective crop. Myself being pumpkins, his being cranberries, of course. So it should be fun because the first competition, Salmon should have an advantage because there's more recipes for cranberries. And the second one, I should have the advantage because more people love pumpkins. And then it all come down to the third one. I'll come down to the shed. And then Poxy will be here too. He's going to judge who has the better shed. So before we get started today, I just want to ask you a couple questions. First of all, why are you the way that you are? Well, it all started when I was three or four. Oh. Um, oh, there was a lit candle. Okay. And... I put the candle out and I was like, ooh, that looks delicious. That's like Kool-Aid. And I drank the wax. <laughs> this is a true story. Wait, what? Okay. It may sound like I'm joking. No, that happened. Oh my God. Johnny B. Nimble over here is slurping yeah. down candlestick wax. Yeah. All right, Sal. Enough fun and games. We have to get back and to- And now we're going to play a game. Now, you know, I didn't think about it like that. So the first competition that we'll be competing in- you have a bit of an advantage over me, Sal, because there are four recipes for cranberries, but only three for pumpkins, which I guess is kind of a point uh, against me already. So are we not counting the jack-o'-lantern then? That's a that's a recipe. It's not food. I mean, I could count it. Yeah, sure. Let, why not? Let's count it. All right. I think before we go, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't done any theory crafting for this at all. Zero. Have you have you done any theory crafting for this at all or no? No, not really. Other okay. than like a vague idea. Okay, I I've done nothing. So you already have a leg up on me. I think I think before we do that, let's take seven minutes to formulate what we want to do and our general plan. We got to get a lot of things. First, we got to get a yam, right? We already have all the pumpkins we need, right? So the pumpkins are not a concern. Then we got we need wheat flour, and then we need two things of milk, and then we need sugar. All right, I'm pretty sure you can get milk from Sandy on hot days. So I believe that will be our only gamble on getting all this milk. I feel like that's probably our best bet because otherwise we're gonna have to get a cow, which costs 1500 G and a barn, which costs 6,000 G. I mean, I guess I could probably do that with clay farming with some winter root farming. Well, the other ones are easy. The yam can be bought, the wheat flour can be bought, the sugar can be bought from Pierre's. The milk is the only thing that's kind of an issue. Sandy doesn't open till 10 a.m. each day. So what we could do is wait for the bus to come, right? And each day use that time to work on getting all these other ingredients like yam, wheat flour, and sugar. Then we just gamba on the Sandy. I feel like that's a pretty good use of time. The traveling cart or bad strat? I think it would be kind of not. I mean, we can check it while we gamba on Sandy. Okay, so yam, we're gonna plant. Oh wait, the only thing I need to crop is one yam. So I can just use the, uh, how much money do we start with? 4,000 G, well, that's a lot of money. It's actually like a good chunk of everything that we'd need. Maybe we just kind of plant some pumpkins, YOLO it, get some money, call it a ding dang day. Yeah, cause you start off with like most of the money we could ever need and then just hope to get a milk gamba. But I mean, his are so easy, but I can't be thinking about him, okay? I have to think about me. Oh, he has to get an apple tree though. 
forgot about that. And that's gonna take him a really long time. So what are we doing again? I'm going to wake up, buy pumpkins and two yams, because in case of crows, and then also buy wheat and sugar. Then we water every day, getting wood and stone all the while. Then we do all that until we get 7,500 G. Okay, Sal. Hi. I have planned. I have planned too. I have a question though. Yeah. Are we just seeing who makes all four recipes first or who can make as many as possible? Oh. Mm. I mean, these, these are gonna be two completely different strategies. See, I was thinking that it was just whoever crafted all of their recipes first. Okay, I like that more because that's okay. gonna be more interesting. Orange chest should be all of the pumpkins you need and or the cranberries in your case. Oh, cranberry. Oh, I thought we were planting the cranberries. Oh, no, 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 no. But you just can't oh. sell these. So any money you need, you need to get by yourself. Okay, and we start with 4,000. Three, two, two and a half. What are you doing? One, go. Okay, guys, first thing we gotta do, sleep to fall one. Then we gotta wake up. We gotta start clearing space for our 20 pumpkins we need to get. All right, let's go, 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 go. This farm's been mostly cleared, I just realized. In the meantime, we gotta chop wood. Oh my God, there's no thing on this farm. It's completely cleared. Oh God, this is not great. How am I supposed to get all the wood I need now? Ah, crap, I didn't account for this. Oh wait, I should water these as well, duh. Okay, watered. And then here, look, I just thought of this. We're gonna go get the things we need, right? And then on the way back, we can hit up the bus. Okay, what do I need again? I forget. Pretty sure I need sugar, wheat flour. I think that was it. I don't really remember. That, that's probably fine. I need a yam seed. And then I need 20 pumpkin seeds. Let's go, 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 go. And unfortunately, Pam is too lazy and she's not at work yet. Ooh, I hate her. Oh, I forgot that this is gonna cost 500 G. This might mess with my calculations a bit. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay, gamble, 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 gamble. Come on, Sam. Sandy, Sandy, baby, give me some milk. I'm thirsty. I have this has never happened to me in game. I've only seen videos of it. So it's entirely possible this does not work and it's a complete waste of time. Come on, Sandy. I know you give milk sometimes. No. Uh, come on. S milk? Do you got milk? No. So stupid. Wow, I should have known that she didn't have milk. It's so dumb. Why did I even do that? Oh, I counted perfectly except for the fact that I missed two, but it's okay. And in the meantime, but, but, but. But go, 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 go. Also, I realize it's possible that a scarecrow eats all our crop. That would really mess with my calculations. All right, uh, one bok choy. I need one artichoke, two sugar, and an apple tree. That should be everything we need. Boom, boom. I should probably be using these days to search for wood, but it's okay. Because I need 350 wood, which is actually a lot of wood. All right, apple tree can go here. And that will take until winter first to grow. Sandy gives milk on Saturday? What? No way. Holy crap. Okay. Wait, then we just got to get that. That seems busted. I didn't even know she gave out milk. I could actually win this. This might be the first collab I win on my channel. <laughs> Hold up. That would be really cool. I've never won one of these before. I never knew what it was like. Also, we can't get crows because we only have two crops. Wow, bok choy do not take long to make. Okay, then is the spirit sleep on a Saturday? Because then I could just straight up sleep till next Saturday. This could be very good. Holy crap, I love when a plan comes together. Sandy, if, you, if you're lying to me, chat, I'm going to feel like a freaking idiot. Because I'm going to waste another 500G for nothing. Shouldn't be missing anything. Hazelnut bread, bok choy, cranberries. Yeah, I think now we just sleep until winter first and we win. And we just pray that he doesn't do that first. Guys, what the hell? What the hell? What? What? You lied about the Saturday milkies, guys. Are you joking? Oh, no, she gave me milk. Oh, oh, okay. Literally, the only thing we're missing is the apple for the cranberry candy. Okay, I want to craft it all at once. Okay, we just sleep. All we have to do is sleep. And then we always hope the rain waters the yam. Genius. I really did doubt, guys. Why don't I believe you guys? Because you lie to me constantly. And you're constantly gaslighting me. Why would I believe you? Oh, oh my God, it's raining so much. The yam is going to be perfect. Oh my god, three rain days in a row! What the heck? Four rain days in a row? What the hell is this luck? This is the luckiest I've ever been. Holy crap. Is my is my yam ready? Oh my god. I'm gonna win this! I'm gonna win this! Holy crap! I'm actually gonna win. It's easy. Sal's gotta sleep an entire year. Uh that's a meteor. <laughs> you okay? Uh we have a ribbon on winter first. I will be sleeping until winter second. If that meteor blocks the greenhouse, we lose. I want everyone to know that. Okay, no, it's right there. Cool, swag meteor. So we should have an apple too. Yeah, okay, I didn't have to sleep until winter second, but besides the point, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute myself and uh, let Shawnee 
hear the news. Hey, how we doing? Uh, I'm doing really well. How are you doing? Uh, super meal. Oh, you're done? Cranberry sauce. Oh, no, I made two cranberry sauces. Wait, what? What just happened? I'm not done. What did you do? Need to buy sugar. Oh no, I'm way behind then. Oh no. <laughs> well, then we might as well stay on the line with each other. <laughs> Wait, you're already done? You slept an yeah. entire year? I didn't have to because you unlocked the greenhouse. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. I was feeling really good because I found out that Sandy always gives up milk on Saturdays. I mean, you have uh, two minutes to work with here because I have to wait until nine when Pierre opens. Okay, so I have to wait until 10 p.m. to get the recipe for a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, man. So what was your plan if you weren't making the jack-o'-lantern, but just like make two of one of the craftables or something? No, I was just going to kind of hope that you, I, didn't you didn't have... You didn't do it all in 30 minutes. Oh, well, it's a very tense race. We're both waiting right now. <laughs> the stakes have never been higher. That would have been awful if it was a Wednesday and I didn't pay attention. That would have been a good... I, I still... I have to wait till 10 p.m. for the Spirits Eve festival to open. Yeah. So we didn't get that one. I mean, if that recipe was unlocked, it actually would be close. Yeah, I have everything else I need besides the recipe. You wouldn't need a candle or whatever for it. A what? Candle. I don't know. I made Why are you talking about candy? the things that it. you love to drink so, so dearly? Well, hold on. Oh, I guess... Oh, you start out with the torch recipe. Okay. Yeah, I have the torch. Yeah. The only thing I, I need is the actual jack-o'-lantern recipe. I did it. Oh, you're done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, you know, I was like, I was feeling incredible before. I was like, this might be the first challenge I ever win. <laughs> well. Not looking good for me now. All right. Well, into the second part of the challenge. Uh, sure, surely I'll come back for that one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, now I really have the advantage, so it's okay. This one is who can befriend the most people using their crop of choice. We will have 30 minutes to get the most social hearts that you possibly can. Do we want to take a couple seconds to think of our strategies as well? I mean, I think I'm good. I don't, I don't really have much to think about here okay. other than walk to the people. Give me five minutes. All right, guys, let's think about what we got to do. This is a... Pumpkins are a loved gift by Abigail, Krobus, and Willie, but we can get Autumn's Bounty, which is also a loved gift by Lewis. But if we could somehow get milk, right? Go to the desert. We could make pumpkin pie, which is a loved gift, which give us two free hearts, and it's Marnie's birthday. So that'd be a loved gift on her birthday, which would be big. So we should take a Saturday and gift all these people. And Willie, I think, goes out on his birthday, right? I, I mean, on Saturdays, right? Yeah, he wakes up early on Saturdays. So we should try and do gifting on Saturdays to get loved people. Just go boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Get Krobus, get Willie, get Abigail. Boom, 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 boom. Let's gift every day on Friday and Saturday. We're trying to get the most social hearts possible. And then on Saturday, we get a milk. Boom, gift it to Marnie. Are there any other birthdays in autumn? Oh, there's a lot. Okay. We can gift to Penny on her birthday. L Elliot. Okay, let me write all this down. So does Penny like pumpkins? She likes them, so that will work. What about Jody? So Jody likes them, and so does Robin, and so does Georg. So we can give them all pumpkins on their birthday, except for Marnie. Marnie needs a pumpkin god dang pie. We need to get milk and sugar too. Okay, easy dub. Okay, Sal, I have done my formulating. <laughs> Guys, I like this guy in chat who said, Sal, please just give one, this one to Shawnee. He needs to win one from time to time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think you should consider that. Okay, are you ready, Sal? I am ready. Three, two, one, go! All right, guys, I got machinations. It's fall two. Where's Penny at? Let's go find Krobus. We gotta go find Abigail, and we gotta go find Willie. Oh, and we're gonna need milk and sugar too, so we need a little bit of money, but luckily we have a little bit of money, so it's fine. The nice thing about Krobus is that he's always open, so we can just go down there, boop, give him a gift, call it a day. I would like some coffee too, but... It's okay. I also need a little bit of money, so I will plant some pumpkins. Actually, pumpkins might take too long for this challenge. I might plant some, like, other things. I don't know what those other things are yet. Okay, what do I do while I wait? Where's Penny? What time does Penny wake up? Okay, what time does she open up? 9 a.m.? Oh, crap. Okay. Let's just go gift random people in the meantime. Um, oh, Willie's up right now. Oh, we have to go get Willie. I forgot. He wakes up at, like, 6.10, and he doesn't go inside his shop until, like, 9, right? On Tuesdays? Shut up, Willie. Oh, actually, the teleport was awesome. And so far, we're at zero social hearts. Okay, but it's okay. We're making a good start. Now we just have to go gift as many people as we can possibly see. Just go around gifting them all freaking pumpkins. Kent! I don't think Kent likes pumpkins. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. He liked it. And I'm not even going to bother spending time talking to them. Because that gave me 80 points. Elliot's birthday will skip. And then we have Abigail's. Oh, and then on Saturday, we have to go out. Because we have to get to Sandy to get us some milk that we now learned. So we can use that as a gifting day. Where is Abigail? Um, Pam! Take a pumpkin. Nice. Penny, 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 Penny. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. I, of course I remember your birthday. I'd never forget, Penny. Okay, what's my heart's at? I got one. Excellent start. Alex, pumpkin. No problem, buddy. Okay, Pierre, take a pumpkin. Okay, I could talk to them for 20 extra points, which I probably should be doing, honestly. Where's Abigail? 
Oh crap, she's right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's 100 points with Abigail. Everybody else is pretty much irrelevant, I think. Oh, and I forgot to get the yams. The yams. How could I forget the yams? Okay, I bought eight of them. I think that should be good. Oh, wait. And we need a thing of wheat flour and a thing of sugar. Okay, perfect. Everyone dislikes jack-o'-lanterns. Good to know, though. All right, I'm just going to bed. I'm just going to bed. Screw it. Okay, I will sell all this crap in my inventory, though. All right, and let's plant some yams for my boy Louie. All right, next day we wake up is on Saturday. We're skipping Elliot's birthday. The bus costs 500 G. <gasps> I forgot. Oh my God, you're right. And I have 236 G. Uh-oh. It's okay. I will find a way to make money. I'll just sell some wood. That'll get me there. You know what? I'll just go foraging really quick. That should be enough. Wait, it's raining. Isn't that bad? Doesn't like nobody come out of their house on when it rains? Yeah, I won't gift today. No gifting today. No gifting necessary. Gift on Saturday. I feel like I'm wasting a ton of time doing this. And I feel it because it's true. How am I doing on time? I have one heart so far. Excellent work, as always. And sell everything I have in my inventory. And then it's just gift to Palooza. Sell, 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 sell. Why are people saying press F for free money? Oh. All right, we have enough for our bus ticket now. So now I have to wait until 10 for Pam to get the milk. But in the meantime, we can just go gift everybody. So we hit Crobus, then we hit Willy on the way. We circle back around, get all the folks who are waking up. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Hit up the big K. Okay, he should be at 200 points now, which is very close to a heart. And then there's my man, Willy. And then people should be waking up, right? <laughs> Kent, take my love. Alex, I hate you, but take this. Okay, is this open? Yes. Nice. Oh, okay. And George has a birthday too, so it's nice to start gifting him. Yes, I'm friends with Alex, but I don't need all your rigmarole. Okay. Gift to George. Easy. And then Pam. Penny's still in bed. I hate her. Okay. Harvey, take this pumpkin. You're welcome. All right. And then we just have to go gift Abigail really quick. I get these other guys on the way, but it's okay. Get out of the way. I need to get to Caroline. Okay. Caroline. Oh, thank God. I was about to bail. I was about to jump ship on that. Okay. There we go. All right. Got to get that milkies. And I got the milk. Does she just keep giving you milk if you keep talking to her? No. Is not the case. I should probably be gifting more people, right? Yeah, probably. It's probably more people who are up right now that I should just go and gift. Okay, what, do I, what is the thing I need to make? Make a pumpkin pie for Marnie for her birthday on fall 18. Okay, sleep till fall 11. And we have enough money for another ticket to Sandy. We should probably go see her again, honestly. Oh my god, it rained! Nice! Because we need that for our yams. Hopefully our yams are almost done. I need to go water them. Because I need to start giving love gifts to Lewis. Oh, it's Jody's birthday. Almost forgot. All right, gifts. We gotta go give gifts. We need to give Jody today. And then I think that's it. We're, we've lost half our time already, I just realized. Which is not great. And that should be our first heart. Yes, Krobus. Thank you. Where's Jody? What time does Jody wake up? Oh, Kent. I can't believe you liked my gift. <laughs> I forgot about Willie. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, we can't forget Abigail's birthday in two days. Let me in, let me in. I need to gift Abigail. I feel like these little gifts are not going to even really matter. I shouldn't even really be giving them out. I should only really be caring about birthdays and the people who love them. Where's Abigail? Where the freak is she? No, oh, she's in here, right? No, she's not. <gasps> oh, crap. Where's Abigail? Uh, is she in her bedroom? Oh, she is. Oh, did she not wake up on Thursdays or something? Uh, I don't know what to do. I need this heart. How long should I wait? Look into her schedule. Relax. Okay, well, the wiki says she wakes up at 9 o'clock. It's freaking 9.50 over here. Okay, she's waking up. She's waking up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what the heck the wiki was talking about. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, guys. We already have four hearts. Easy dub. Wait, why didn't we get a heart from Jody? Because <gasps> we didn't gift her yet. I'm really glad I remembered that. I almost forgot. Jody, 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 Jody. Of course I remembered your birthday, Jody. Nice. Five hearts easy we do have to keep gifting penny though so we don't get decay even though we might not get her to a second heart decay would be worse okay oh my god we only have 10 minutes left we haven't done anything all right well we have to wake up on the 13th wait the 13th is also a saturday it's abigail's birthday and a saturday so we get milkies and we can also gift abigail it's brilliant okay abigail's birthday i'm coming for you let's go give our normal gifts and then we have to make sure to hit abigail and is there anything else we need to do today get the milk Hey, Willie. Thank you for coming here. I need to stop thinking about all these other people who don't matter. Because I only have 10 minutes left. And I've only got like five hearts. So after this, I just need to sleep till Marty's birthday. And then I'm just going to frick it. And then sleep till Krobus's. And then sleep till Sebastian's. I, I don't think we have too much time left, actually. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I have this. I'm pretty sure pumpkins are just straight up a loved item for Krobus. So he has it a little easier than me. Alex, get over here. I hate you. Thank you. Well... Things are not going well with Alex, but I will gift Pam, especially because I need to speed her up. All right, now we just need to get Abby. And then Pierre's about to open his doors, please. Harvey, sure, I'll give you a pumpkin. Why not? You're here. Nicest thing I can say about you. <laughs> I hope Shiny is having as hard of a time as I am with this. It's just the three hours you have to wait for everyone to get out of their house. All right, what time does Abigail wake up? Or is she one of those people who doesn't wake up on her birthday? That would make me really upset. <gasps> no, she's awake! Nice. Of course I remembered your birthday, Abigail. Okay, now I have to go catch a bus for your boyfriend. I only have seven minutes left. Ah, crap. I wasted all my time. I don't even dare check my heart count before time's up because that's just, you know, every bit always pissing. <laughs> Here's some cranberries for your piss. 
Enjoy. Easy, easy, easy. Seven minutes, seven minutes. We just gotta hit Marnie up and then Krobus if we're lucky. It's okay, we put in the work, we put in the hours, and now it's time to take what's ours. Thank you for the milkies. Mm. Goodbye, Sandy. We sleep until the 18th for Marnie. Oh my god, we're almost done. Crap, 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 crap. I thought I had way more time. 30 minutes is not that much time. I did not need to wait for this milk. That was a waste of, complete waste of time, but I had to wake up anyway for Abigail's birthday, so it's fine. She leaves her house at 10.30? That's pretty late. I might only have time to gift Abigail. This might have been a complete waste of time trying to do the Sebastian thing. Sal, ah, we have five hi. minutes left. Okay. How are you doing? I don't know. It feels so slow going having to wait for 9 a.m. Yes, I know. There's so And there's so many things that you have to wait for. Yeah, really. Because I, the only person that I can access that's useful before nine is Linus. Other than that, I just like twiddle my thumbs. Oh wow, you really stink. Well, okay. No, I just meant like things stink for you. Sorry. What day are you on? Fall eighteen. Interesting. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine social hearts. How many do you have? Let's keep it a surprise. Do <laughs> you have a lot more than that or a lot littler than that? Let's just keep it a surprise. What do you mean? Let's I don't not worry about it. I don't want a surprise. Let's not worry about it. I'm very worried about it. No, 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 no. I feel like you have We're like good. two and you're like, what, <laughs> what day are you on? The 11th. Oh, wow. You're very slow going. No, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get the thing that I want to do. I was trying to get Marnie's birthday. Okay, I need to get Abigail at nine. Guys, I think we're gonna win. I do not think Sal's gonna win. I think that he bungled this. So ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have lost, <laughs> but we're gonna try anyway. Everyone I've been giving gifts to casually, they don't have a heart yet. And he is right. I should have just done birthday. Come here, sweetheart. Thank you. We just have to get Marnie now. Marnie, and that's a free two hearts. Sure, I'll gift Maru on the way. Why not? I don't know if that'll make a difference. I, I, I can't check. We have a minute and a half for it to become 1030. I forget how Stardew Valley time works. Arr! Okay, and it's pumpkin pie that she likes, right? Where's Marnie? She's up there. No. Oh, Marnie, come on. Okay, I'll give Shane a pumpkin. Why not? Come on, Marnie. I just need a minute left. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, yes, she's coming. She's coming. She's coming. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Can we get all the way back and sleep till winter one? Probably not. Okay, we have 30 seconds. Ooh, if Kent is out, I can give it to him, and then maybe that'll give me an extra social heart. Kent, 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 Kent. Okay. Uh, Vincent, you don't... I don't care for you. And then Judy, right at the buzzer. Nice. All right, Sal, you have two seconds left. Okay. All right, time's up. All right, well, Sal, how did things go for you that time? I think you are you should be scared. Really? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I thought I did pretty good up until now. Well, maybe not. All right, let's go and say who the person is and how many hearts we have with them, and I will keep tally. Wait, actually, let's start from the bottom and then go up, okay? So the person I have the lowest hearts with is Pierre, and I have one with him. All right. I have one with Kent. Okay. <clears throat> dang it. I missed that one. Wait, I I want to see if I would, would have talked to him. <gasps> no, dang it. Okay, I'm not going to count this, obviously, but if I had just talked to him one more time, I forgot to talk to him today, I would have been at one heart with him. Yowch. <laughs> Damn it. So I have one and you have one. Yeah, okay. Next math. person Quick I have math. one with is Pam. All right. I also have one with Elliot. Next person I have one with is Penny. All right. Next person I have one with is Penny. Oh. Nice. Next person I have one with is Jody. It's funny you say that, because I have two with Jody. <laughs> really? Yes, I do. Oh, crap. It's all twos from here on in? It's all twos. Uh-oh. Okay. Then I have one with Krobus. Yeah, Jody's my last person. <laughs> oh. Oh, really? Yeah, I have no more hearts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was all worried. <laughs> okay. In addition to that, I have one, two, three. I have one with Willie, so that's my sixth one. I have two with Marnie, and then I have four with Abigail. So I have 12 total. Good God. And you had five. Ah, so it looks like pumpkins come out on top. Here's what we're gonna do for the final event. 30 minutes to design a pumpkin themed shed. And for you, it's cranberry. All right, the score is one to one. Things are close. The Stardew Valley community is in shambles for many reasons, not none related to this, but. <laughs> All right, three. Two, one, go. We don't really need to even mute for this one. There's not really much that I need to hide for you. I'm making mine jack-o'-lantern themed. I I figured. That's all you got, really. What do you mean that's all I got? What do you have? Yours is cranberry themed. I have cranberries, which look good to start with. Ter <laughs> terrible Didn't argument. think about that, did we? Ter absolutely atrocious argument. I can make mine like all horror themed. I can make mine cranberry themed. What does that mean? I think if we go for like this haunted horror sort of thing, like the skulls, like I feel like that would kind of accomplish what we want. Like get the monster fireplace in here. So I, I really want to go with like a very naturey theme here because like the beauty of the green green and red cranberry 
I want to accent with green and red, right? It's a jack-o'-lantern maze. Oh, that's kind of a cool idea. And then it like brings you to a bunch of different like scary attractions. Okay. Oh, How's well. progress going for you? I'm, I'm I'm like making little finishing detail touches. Mm. Kind of like being like, oh, does this look better? Does this look better? Playing what? around with it. I think I would struggle to make mine any better than it already is. I, j I don't want to over-design and make it like cluttered. Yeah, I already feel that I might have done that. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done on my end too. If I stay, I, I will overthink it and I will ruin everything. Put on the ghost synth song? I guess that's a good idea. Ghost oh, synth. Oh, jukebox. Oh, okay. What? I could jukebox it up. I'm done. This is my finished design. I think it's kind of perfect. I think I'm gonna destroy Sal and he's gonna cry. You'll do that, yeah. But how confident are you feeling in yourself, Sal? This is my best work. Really? It isn't saying much because I always, I consider, honestly, really truthfully, I consider myself awful at design. Yeah, I agree. Oh, okay, thanks. No, no, no like I, I meant like I'm also <laughs> terrible. <laughs> no, yeah, I've seen yourself. You're pretty freaking off. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, everybody. Hello. Me and Sal have been at each other's throats for the past two hours, so it's good to have another presence in here. Yeah, third, <laughs> nice. uh, third party. So, Poxiel, we have invited you here today. I have de designed a shed themed around pumpkins. Sal has designed a shed themed around cranberries. That is all the information that you can go off of. Big P. You've got a lot of pressure right. on you here. Y'all can- Yeah, okay. so screen. I'm really the deciding factor here, aren't I? Yes, this is a long-standing wow. beef between me and Sal, and whatever you decide okay. is going to go down in history, okay? Yep, forever. Okay. And it, it'll actually have to be edited onto the wiki. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> to say this. For this sure, is be sure. the better crop. Ooh. Now walk us through your thoughts, though. Oh, it changed the grass color when I reloaded. First impressions. I like it. I'm liking the color scheme, Sal, you've got going on. Thank it's you. very nice. And it's got some nice splashes of color. You show off the cranberries very nicely. I can see you've got cranberry plants, cranberries on the signs, a couple of cooking recipes, got a couple of fish. A little bit of a fire hazard with the braziers around grass. I'm not gonna lie, but you know. Idiot, such an idiot, Sal, so stupid. Big P, if you had to yep. rate this shed out of 10, what would you rate it? I'd give it an 8.5. Whoa. That, oh, that, that's pretty high. Okay, okay. What, what was your favorite, what's your favorite part about it, you would say? I'd say the symmetry. So you've done a beautiful job at really, <laughs> oh, I really like that. I was worried oh, about you, the symmetry. You like the symmetry. I mean, you like gonna... symmetry. Yeah. I just liked it about this one. Uh, uh yeah. okay. No, 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 cool. Awesome. Yeah. That's. I was I, worried the symmetry right. was gonna make it look bland, <laughs> but yeah, I'll take it. You know, let's move on then, you know? Great, right. great so yeah. far. <laughs> um, I didn't know that you're a big symmetry guy, though. Uh, <laughs> hey, well, uh, oh, ooh, very dark out here. It's it's for the theming. We're going spook spooky kind of vibes here. Okay. Oh. Here I go. Ooh. Okay. Pumpkin theme. I like it. You've gone with the Halloween first impressions. I'm actually a big fan of the asymmetrical look. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Salmon's my boy, oh, my no, boy. It's over. You fool. Um. Ah. Okay, you're just sitting in the corner. Ah. Okay. We got a little maze going on here. I like the use of lots of different things. There's a lot going on, and there's a lot to take in. This is not like a compliment. In my mind, it is. So, <laughs> <laughs> take that in however you want. Like Sal, I like that you've got a few couple of pumpkins around. Some pumpkin themed cooking. I think there's only one I can see. <laughs> stupid, stupid. Wait, wait. Uh, check Could the chest though. Check, check what's in the chest. Oh, check the chest. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Can I just say wow? What? Is it a lucky ring? ring? Please tell me it's, it's a lucky ring. <laughs> no, it's just eight skeleton heads and a golden pumpkin in the middle. Oh, that's mm. cute. That was a nice detail. I would say so. Do you have any other impressions? I like that you've kind of stuck with a good color theme here. <laughs> you really, it I... seems like you're pulling the bank here. It seems like you're just <laughs> making shit up at this point. I love that there are colors in it and you've placed, mm. um, see, I'm mm. noticing you've placed items in the shed. You've placed items in here. <laughs> no fire, uh, no fire warning with the braziers on this one. Kind of. So... <laughs> I, I will point out, those jack-o'-lanterns are li lit by something. That is true, actually. You make a good point. Yeah. And oh, there's shut just up, Candelator. I know you're just salpidating <laughs> at the mouth looking at the jack-o'-lanterns, but fall back on this one. Now, 
you've seen the first one and you've seen this one. Now tell us who the winner is. I might give something to Shawnee here for a second. I just realized okay. it's a reference to the Halloween maze because you got the golden pumpkin at the end. Anyway. That, that's Ooh. what I was going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have been the last like person it. on earth to get that, but here we are. Okay. Shawnee, I am giving your shed a rating of 8 out of 10. Wait, no, so I lost? I'm sorry to say, but Salamence, your shed came out on top today. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to say. Congratulations. Shawnee, <laughs> I must say though, you put up a great shed. Don't be disappointed. Oh, I have a point. Okay, I, I respect and understand your decision. But I will ask you just one last thing before you go, Poxiel. Mm -hmm. In the general sense, what's your preference in the debate of pumpkins versus cranberries? Look, as someone who has played Stardew Valley for many hours, I think mm -hmm. I would have to go with cranberries. And Whoa. that is because- Whoa! Uh, get out! Okay, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs>